Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to have another look at LLMware. I already have covered this LLMware on the channel few months back and in the recent months they have improved a lot. LLMware is a unified framework for building LLM based applications. In simple words what they are trying to do, they have built this array of small language models or SLMs which you can run on PCs on edge devices and they are focused and specialized on specific tasks. They have released this model depot on Hugging Face where they have heaps of models around uh, RAG for function calling. You can run them in ONNX format, GDUF format and also in the open window format. You can run them on Windows, on your edge devices and on Linux. These models are specialized for specific tasks. There are uh, a lot of models which they already have it on their website and you can check it out. So in this video, we are going to get this installed and I will give you a quick demo as how it works. Before I do that, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly, easily and at scale. You can use Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. AgentQL is a robust alternative to fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Now let's try to install this LLMware on my local system where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let's start with creating a virtual environment with Conda. Let's wait for it. Let's install all the prerequisites which include Torch and Transformers and Hugging Face Hub. You would also need to download the models from Hugging Face uh, page which I just showed you for their model depot and we will be uh, logging into Hugging Face by using Hugging Face CLI and for that you would need a Hugging Face token which is a free token which you can obtain from your Hugging Face profile page. So let's wait for these to get installed and then we will log into Hugging Face. The prerequisites are done. Let me log into Hugging Face with this CLI. It is asking for the token so let me paste my reach token from Hugging Face. And that should let me log in there. Press capital Y and we are logged in. Now next step is to download these language models. I'm going to randomly select three models from this hugging face page of this LLMware and I will drop the link to it in video's description. In order to download, all you need to do is to specify model ID. I'm going to download three models. One is a bling answer tool and then one in uh, maybe I will just go with the bling tiny llama in the OV format which is the open window format. If you don't know what this open window format is and ONNX format and GDUF formats of different models are, please search my channel. These are different uh, formats for a model especially when it comes to small language models so that they could be run on CPU or they could be run on edge devices and they just optimize the inference for the models by reducing the size. Okay, so now let me show you how you can download the model. First we need to maybe I will just launch my Python interpreter to show you that. Let's first download this. So I'm just importing the download library. Let's specify our model and the local path where I want to download the model. So this is one LLMware model which is Blink Answer Tool. I will also describe what exactly this um, model is which is Blink Answer Tool. So Blink Answer Tool is a quantized version of Blink Tiny Llama 1 billion with 4km GGF quantization. It provides quite a fast small inference implementation for use on CPU. So if you don't have a GPU, you can use this model and you see that it's a very small model, just under 700 megabytes. That's it. And it is specialized in 
question answering and if you have complex business documents you can try using this model this performs quite nicely okay so that one is done let's also uh, download another model which is i would say llm where blink tiny and i am just going to put it again in the same directory where i am downloading other model so you see this model is again not that big just 729 and this blink tiny llama ov is also quite uh, performant it's very small very fast fact based question answering model which has been de designed for a rag with complex business document and that is what we are going to test it out and now let's also download the same model but in the onnx format and the command is simple the same one okay so it says that it couldn't find this repo because i have a uh, suffix it with llm where let me do that so now i'm just going to put llm where before that and now it is working again a very small model just under just over 900 meg which is very small for a model and all the models are done let's exit from here and now install llmware and i'm installing llmware with all the prerequisites and i'm also installing openvino and onnx runtime so let's wait for it to finish and while that happens let me introduce you to the uh, sponsors of the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to mast compute website in video description Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Okay, so that is done. Let's launch our Jupyter Notebook and then we will play with these models in browser environment. Okay, so the browser environment is launched. Let's try to see how can we use these small language models with the help of LLMware. So first up, I'm just importing the libraries which we have installed and then we are setting a context and we want to ask a question from this model with the help of this context. So here, let's just set the context. So we are just appending the context with the question. Uh, okay, so let me fix that indent. This is the thing with it. Okay, so I have put the quotes around them properly and now this has worked. Next up, let me first show you how you can use the model in the GGV format, which is simply the blank answer tool, which I showed you earlier, which we downloaded on our local system. We are loading the model and then we are passing the above prompt to the model and we are doing the inference with it. So let me run it. And there you go. So as soon as we have run it, it has given us the response which is this one this is the llm's response so because we had asked what is the total number of invoice so on the basis of our provided context or in other words rag it has given us the response back and you can see that it has also given us some of the other parameters around it if you want to judge its performance also if i show you how much vram it is consuming at the moment you will see that it is just over one gig vram so this can run even on your phone easily okay so that is done now let's try out with other formats so first up let me flush the gpu vram so that we will empty it similarly you can use the open Vino model like this also if you haven't already downloaded them with the way i showed you at the start of this video this can download it for you so i have already deleted it so if i run this open window from here it is going to download that so you see it has started downloading the model and ov stands for open window format it is still running and it is downloading the model for us and then it is going to show us the response with the rag with the same context and there you go it has again showed us the response which is quite correct similarly you can also go with onnx format and it's the same command all you need to do is to change the uh, model's name and repo and it is going to load it for you 
and this one is running let's also quickly check our gpu consumption which is again very very less it even didn't consume any gpu it's a very small model the last one and it has given us the response back the tiny llama or oh, nnx format so that is how uh, it is quite easy to not only run it on gpus but on cpus and edge devices there are a lot of other use cases which you can do but be aware there is uh, it's not meant for everything if you have a highly complex highly productionized environment and your requirement is higher then i don't think so that this is going to work but i think for nomin nominal tasks here and there where you need small language models to do mundane tasks this should be fine and if you just want to have a simple question answering chatbot maybe on your local phone you can build it with it you, if you want to do a simple rag with your own simple documents with not much context length you can use that too also um, you can further fine tune these you can even distill them into other models where we have student teacher relationship and then you can deploy them on edge devices and if you go to their model depot on hugging face you will find heaps of llms there so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching